Hello everyone, so today I wanted to do another reading video for you and today I have Bob to the Rescue by James Berrien inspired by a true story. Hello, my name is I'm Bob the Street Cat. I used to be homeless, but then I met my best friend James, who gave me somewhere lovely and warm to live. This is the story of how I met another of my friends. It was the perfect autumn afternoon in the park. James was strumming his guitar while I watched the birds in the tree. The sun was shining and we were both as happy as could be. Just then I heard a strange noise coming from the bushes. It sounded like a whimper, like someone or something was upset. I wondered what it could be, I thought. So I went to take a closer look. I heard the sound again and saw something white disappearing into a bush ahead. Who's there? I asked, but there was no reply. I decided to follow it into the bush and found a little white puppy. He was shivering and his hazel eyes were filled with fear. My name is Bob, what's yours? I said in a friendly voice. But he just rocked from side to side, looking really scared. I stepped towards him, but he snapped at me. I was annoyed, silly boy, I thought. I was only trying to help. Just then, James called me. Bob, Bob, time to go home, mate. But I was worried about the puppy. He might be lost or abandoned. He was all alone. Late back at home, I stared out into the dark, rainy night. The wind was howling. I watched to see if the little puppy would walk past with his owner. But the street was empty, there was no sign of him, he must have still been in the park. I knew just how, I knew just how that poor puppy felt. I had been, I had once been homeless, forced to sleep, out in the cold. I remembered how frightened and hungry I had been. I remember how I had wished for a kind soul to help me. I knew what I must do. Just then the doorbell rang. I took my chances and I slipped through James's legs and ran downstairs before he could realise. I had to be quick. If I wasn't back soon, I knew James would come looking for me. Out in the dark I felt afraid. The poor puppy must be frightened too and cold and hungry. I saw an open bin so I jumped up and found a leftover sausage for him. I ran to the park to find him. 
hello, I said, peering into the bushes. Soon the puppy poked his head out. He looked even more frightened now. I pushed the sausage towards him. He sniffed it, but didn't eat it. Come on, you've got to eat, I said. He just growled at me. He was still scared and didn't understand that I was a friend. There was nothing more I could do. I was freezing and my fur was soaked through. I headed home feeling sad. Suddenly I heard a loud woof, woof, woof. It was a big dog running towards me. I ran for the park gate. I could sense it closing in on me. I just shut my eyes. All at once I heard a yelping sound and a big dog turned away from me. Out of the shadows a ball of white fur appeared, snapping and snarling at the big scary dog. It was the puppy. The big dog actually looked frightened of the puppy. I was frozen on the spot. And then I saw James. He was running towards us. Hey, get lost, he shouted, waving his arms at the big dog. It turned and ran away. My heart was racing. I could hardly breathe. I jumped straight into James's arms. Bob, what on earth are you doing out here at this time of night, he said. And who is this brave little fella? he asked. The puppy gazed up at James. He wasn't scared anymore and knew we were his friends. Let's get you a meal and a warm bed. We will find you a home in the morning. Back at home, the puppy gobbled up a plate of food in a flash. He then snuggled up alongside me next to the radiator. We all slept soundly that night. The next morning, James got us up early. Time to find your home, he said to the puppy. We'll see if they can help us at the police station. On the way, we came across a poster. The puppy in the picture looked just like my new friend. You clever boy, Bob, James said, scribbling down a phone number. That's why we went back to the park. You guessed he was lost. James rang the number and we soon headed off. We knocked on the door of a big house and a nice lady answered. Pat, she shouted when she saw the puppy. And then she called Jenny, look who's here. And a little girl came running down the stairs. Pat, I thought I'd lost you forever, she cried, kissing and cuddling the little dog. Pat yelped and wagged his tail with joy. He couldn't stop licking her face. Bob to the rescue, said James. I felt so proud. Sometimes I see my friend Patch in the park. We run off into the bushes to play. Jenny and her mummy are never far away. Together we make sure that Patch never gets lost again.
And that's the end of the story. I've also had this one that I've read for my channel. So if you want to go and check that out. I think the illustrations on this book and on this other one are beautiful. So don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Thank you.